Every year, over 200 million tons of cargo move through the Great Lakes Seaway system. Supported by 50 ports and a vast range of connecting roads and rail links, this 3,700-kilometer marine highway supports jobs and trade throughout the heartland of North America. With economic output estimated at $6 trillion, the provinces and states bordering the Great Lakes Seaway system account for 30% of combined Canadian and U.S. economic activity and employment. The region would rank as the third largest economy in the world if it were a country. Positioned at the core of this economic powerhouse, the Great Lakes Seaway system serves as a vital supply chain. The Great Lakes and St. Lawrence River have served as transportation corridors since long before Canada or the U.S. achieved nationhood. With the opening of the St. Lawrence Seaway in 1959, a new era in shipping was established. Built as a binational partnership between the U.S. and Canada, the Seaway's 15 locks enable ships to travel between the Great Lakes and the Atlantic Ocean, a difference in height equivalent to a 60-story building. Administration of the Seaway is shared between the St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation in Canada, a not-for-profit corporation established by the Government of Canada, and the St. Lawrence Seaway Development Corporation, a federal agency within the U.S. Department of Transportation. Today, the Seaway corporations continue to work with industry partners to reinforce the Seaway's efficiency and safety. The Seaway was the first inland waterway to implement the automatic identification system, which enables the monitoring of ship locations by satellite, enhancing traffic control throughout the system. The Seaway corporations have also led efforts to implement a draft information system, which provides mariners with a 3D model of the channel, enabling ships to precisely chart their way along the various channels. The implementation of hands-free mooring represents the greatest advancement in seaway operations since its inception in 1959. Each lock is equipped with three hands-free mooring units, which reach out to secure a ship during lockage, utilizing vacuum pads instead of traditional wire or rope lines. Ships are held by the mooring units which move up and down rails recessed within the lock walls as the ship is raised or lowered. Once the ship is at the desired level, the mooring units release their grip, allowing the ship to proceed on its journey. With the elimination of tie-up lines for most vessels, Seaway employees and vessel crews face fewer safety risks, and vessels experience less wear and tear as they enter and exit locks. Hands-free mooring also eliminates the need for special vessel fittings, enabling the St. Lawrence Seaway to welcome a broader range of ships from the world fleet. Seaway carriers are in the process of investing billions of dollars in fleet renewal, commissioning dozens of state-of-the-art ships. Many of these new ships can carry the equivalent of almost 1,000 truckloads. Marine transportation is the most energy-efficient way to move cargo. Looking ahead, encouraging more shippers to use the Seaway will permit both economic growth and a low-carbon economy while easing congestion on our roadways. With strong advancements in safety, reliability and efficiency, and with the capacity to double traffic volumes within the Seaway's existing locks and channels, the stage has been set for a St. Lawrence Seaway that will effectively serve its stakeholders for decades to come.